Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. A couple of weeks have passed since Papa Bloom discovered that he bought the controlling interest in the Excello Pictures Corporation of Hollywood, (laughs) by mistake. But he's getting a little more acquainted with the movie business, with the help, of course, of his two sons-in-law, Sidney and Harold. Right now, we find Papa and Mama at home, as Papa says... Back here. Yeah, Papa? We got anything to do tonight. To do, Jim? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Uh... We got to sleep later. No, no, I don't mean that. I mean, before we go to bed. No, no, we ain't got nothing to do. Good. Then we will stay home. <laughs> sure, Jake. We always stay home when we ain't got nothing to do. That's what homes is for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you don't go to the movies, and when you don't go to Coney Highland or something like that, then home is good enough. <laughs> Jake, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking off my shoes. <laughs> oh, Papa, just because you're going to stay home, and ain't no reason why you should start to get undressed. Back here. Is taking off my shoes getting undressed? For you it is, Jake. There's a lot of feet. Uh, Almost as much as if somebody else is taking off everything. Now, look, Mom. If we're going to stay home, we shouldn't start an argument right away. Who's starting an argument, Jake? I'm only saying something. Don't talk about my feet. All right, Papa. So we don't talk about your feet. All right. Thank you. <sighs> Jake, mm-hmm. Von Toll is coming through the socks. All right. All right, Mama. So one toe is coming through the socks, and we ain't gonna talk about my feet. I am very, very comfortable. You're comfortable. Papa, what if somebody should come in now? Ah, all right. And we'd say hello and tell them to sit down. Yeah, sit down. Where would they sit? There, on oh. the chairs. <laughs> the man that invented the chairs had that idea when he invented them. Where else should they sit? <laughs> I know, Jack, I know. But you got your feet up on one chair. Well? You're sitting on another one. But, uh, Your coat's on the back of that one over there, and your hat's uh, on the sofa, and the newspapers is all over the other chair. No, 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 no. So what, Becky? So what? Nobody's going to see it. Nobody's going to see it. Yeah. <sighs> all right, Papa. I guess you got a right to be comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a fat man has to be that fat. <laughs> sure. Uh, fat? Who's fat? You are, Papa. I am not. You ain't the skinny man in the circus. The, uh, this morning, uh, I'm taking your new Palm Beach suit you bought in New York just a few months ago. And I'm letting out the waist until I'm having to put in another piece so you'll be able to get inside. Well, uh, 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 well it's shrunk when we send it to the cleaners. <laughs> Even a circus tent don't shrink that much. Mama, Mama, please, look. So we're going to spend an evening together in our home. But first, you got to talk about my feet. Then you got to talk about how I'm getting fat. And so far, I'm not having one minute's peace. I know, Papa, I know. That's why we are staying home. So we don't have any peace. Uh, now. <laughs> now I've got to listen while you explain that. Do I got to explain it, Jake? Do you got... Mama, if you don't explain it, then I'll sit here and wonder what you meant all the while I am sitting here. I will try to read the paper, and I will read the same sentence five times because I'm trying to figure out what you meant. So go ahead, Mama. Explain it. All right, Papa. So I'll explain. So I am ready. You have to be ready for it. <laughs> One of your explanations. i got to be ready. All right. I said we got to stay home so we don't have any peace. Yeah, remember that. What I mean is this, Papa. When we are out to see somebody, 
When we go to a party or something like that, we are behaving for other people. We are being very nice for people who say, hmm, Jake and Rebecca Bloom are very lovely people. <laughs> they don't fight. Yeah, they should know. They shouldn't know, uh. Jake. That's why we are staying home, if we want to fight. So that when we are home, we can let go with our feelings. Papa, if two married people don't have a fight or even argue once in a while, there's something the matter with them. Outside, we got to be hypodermic. Uh, hypocrites, Mama, please. Hypocrites. Hypocrites, Papa, all right, so we got to have two faces. But when we are home, it feels good to have only one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, at uh, least now I won't worry about what you want. No. I will worry about it now because it sounded so good that I think I should be getting paid for saying it. Uh, <laughs> all right, Mama. Uh, where are the children tonight? Don't worry about them, Jake. Maybe they're wanting to fight, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Papa, how's the movie business coming along? Movie well, business? <laughs> all right, I guess. Sydney told me they are uh, releasing a picture this week. Uh, whatever that means. Mm, Sydney's a smart boy. He knows what it means. Mm-hmm. He knows what it means. What's Harold doing? Harold? <laughs> Harold walks around all day in fancy clothes with a lot of papers under his arm. He says he's working on a d d d uh, production. <laughs> I never see him productioning anything. Well, I don't worry about them anymore, Mama. I just let them go, and I hope that everything is coming out all right. But are you making money? Uh, Sydney says I shouldn't worry. <laughs> Jake, it ain't like you. You should leave a lot of things to Sydney and Harold. Don't you like the business? Hmm? Sure, sure I do. But until I know more about it, I'm going to keep my mouth closed. Ah, that's smart, Papa, that's smart. But you shouldn't leave it closed so long that people will think you can't talk. And then they'll start to take advantage of you. Like they did with your cousin Mo. Mo? Now, what is the matter with my cousin Mo? Nothing is the matter with him. It's just with the ideas that he gets. Five times you backed him in some kind of business. Five different stories he told. Now, Mo is a very smart boy. Yeah, he's so smart, Jake. He has to come to you for money all the time to start something new. But the... The last time, he invented a boat that wouldn't sink. Did they ever get it up from the bottom of the Central Park Lake? Now, look, that was an accident. Sure, sure it was, Jake. Mo had five accidents, all with your money. Uh, <laughs> he was always inventing something. An inventor has got to have money or else he don't invent. Yeah, yeah, he should invent a way of getting money. Well, there is a way, but they put you in jail for it. So maybe Mo should be in jail. Mama, don't go putting my cousins in jail before they do something. I didn't. Now, look, Becky. Every time he gets quiet, you think of something else to talk about. First, it was mine feet, then I'm getting fat, and now it is poor Mo. Poor Mo. <laughs> you should live so long to think that Mo is poor. Yep. Not as long as he's got relatives like you. Oh, yeah, I give up. And, hey, Mama, give me the funny page. It ain't very funny. All right, then I will cry when I read the funnies. Look at this one, Jake. They put the poor little girl in the river. Mama, please, don't tell me what happened. I want to read it for myself. I am following that every day, and I don't want you to tell me about it before I get to All right. All right, here, you can read it then. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Papa, you ain't laughing. I ain't come to anything funny yet, Mama. Hmm. I told you, Jake, the funnies ain't funny. Mama, look. Tonight we are staying home because I wanted some peace and some quiet. All day long I am bothered by a lot of people who holler and make noise. So when I am staying home at night, I want it to be very, very quiet. Jake, all day you are away. When you are home at night, I want to talk to you. Or maybe during today you get all talked out, huh? All right, Mama, all right. So we will talk. I am finished with the funny page and I didn't laugh. Jake, do you remember that cousin of Mrs. Fink's what's out here? I don't remember any cousin of Mrs. Fink's. Mrs. Fink, I bet, has even got cousins in Iceland. Maybe in Greenland. All over she's got cousins. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But this one is different. Mm -hmm. And what is different about one cousin from another? You should know this one. Mm -hmm. And why should I know this one? Is this cousin a special one? He's the one whose wife has got aluminum hair. Mama, people don't have aluminum hair. What? It would be very hard to comb. You are talking again through your hat. No, I ain't. She's got aluminum hair. Oh, <laughs> I see, Mama. You mean she's got platinum hair? So what's the difference, aluminum or platinum? Uh, she looks like a bean pole with a ball of cotton sticking out from the top. And Jake, yeah? <laughs> you should know her. And why should I? Would it make business any better? Look, Mama, please, I, I want to read the paper. Jake, this one with the funny hair is a sister-in-law from Ida Goldfarb. I... Mama, why should you want to talk about Ida Goldfarb now? Because you took it to Coney Highland once. Before I was married to you. I know, Jake, I know. You took it to Coney Highland. 
And I'll bet you rode on the little boats that goes through the dark funnels. <laughs> what if I did, Mom? All right, what if I did? That was 20 years ago and more. How should I remember if we got on the little boats that go through the dark funnels or tunnels? Maybe I knew what I was doing when I took her on those. <laughs> she wasn't so good to look at in the light. Mm -hmm. You always said she was very pretty, Jake. Mama, please, I don't remember. Anyway, why should we talk about Ida Goldfarb? I didn't marry her. Now, please, please, Mama, don't think of anything else to talk about. First it was my feet, then I'm getting fat, then all of a sudden it's Cousin Mo, then the funnies ain't funny, then it is Ida Goldfarb. Uh, Mama, please, please let me read the paper. All right. All right, Jake. And who is keeping you from reading the paper? Who is... Uh, uh, nobody, Mama. <laughs> nobody. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Jake. Jake, are you deep? Huh? <laughs> no, but it's not a bad idea. What do you want now? Take off the socks and I'll darn the hole in the toe. Oh, Mama, please, wait till tomorrow. Never put off today what you can't do until tomorrow. That's a very old ad boy, but it's a very good one. Give me the socks, Jake. Mama, look, if I take off the socks, I will have to get up and get some more. I will have to walk into the bedroom to get them, because if I don't put socks on, then I will catch a cold. And I don't want to get up now because I am very comfortable. You're always comfortable. All right, then leave me that way. All right. All right. If you don't want I should darn the socks, I won't darn the socks. <laughs> All right. All right. Got a big hole in his socks. You don't want him to. What's the matter with him? Sneaky and cranky. Okay. Jake, huh? give me that last page there, will you? It says something about a sale at one of the stores. Maybe I could get you some new shorts very cheap. I am reading on the other side of the last page, Mama. Well, hurry up. You've been reading on that page for a long time. I know it. I know it. Three times I've started to read something. But even now, I don't know what it is all about. Yeah, I know. Things nowadays is all mixed around. Yeah, <laughs> it ain't that. It's just because I don't get a chance to get past the first sentence of what I'm reading. Then you won't need the last page. I want to look at the sale. Mama, I... All right. All right. Uh, here, take the whole paper now. The whole paper. I don't want any of it. I don't want to read. Why not, Papa? Why did you get up? You could throw the paper across. Never mind, Mama. I am not going to read anymore. Papa, why are you putting on your shoes? Because, Mama, because we're going to a movie. A talking picture. 